another integral from MIT integration B 2010. This is problem number 13. Let's get started with this. So the initial problem I see here is we almost never in the integral want our base to be X or a number. We always want it to be E. Unless of course it was a, uh, you know, it was a polynomial and we could use the power rule, but that's not the case when we have an X in the exponent. So let's just convert this X to the form. We'll just use, we can rewrite X as E L N X. So let's do that and insert this into our problem. So our integral is going to be E L N X. Just kind of by exponent rules, we can multiply this X back in. So I can write it like this. And we'll have one plus ln x dx. Now I think we're gonna have a pretty good u substitution. We can just make this piece right here our u. And let's see what happens when we do that. So if we call u, I'm just gonna change to our right x ln x. And to differentiate, we're gonna use the product rule. Uh, we'll differentiate x to derivative of x is one times ln x plus. Then we'll leave the x and differentiate ln x. And that's going to be one over x dx here. And then just simplifying this, when we simplify this x times one over x, this is just going to be a one. So we're left with, and for our du, we're going to have just ln x plus one dx. And then we'll notice that's exactly what we have right here. So we can now do our substitution. Let's do this thing. So we're going to have e to here's our u so we're going to have e to the u and then this whole thing is going to be du we just have e u du easiest integral in the world so this is going to be e integral this is just going to be e u plus c and then all we need to do is back substitute and when we do that we're going to have e x ln x plus c but then let's we were correct here, but let's actually try to simplify this and get it back in the form where we had it. In the beginning, we started with this x to the x expression, and we kind of like it to look that way if we can. So I'm just going to rewrite this. We'll just kind of do it like this, and we'll move our x into the exponent. But this was what we did in the beginning. This is actually just x. So we'll have a plus c here. But then for our final answer, we're going to have x to the x plus c. Plus C is optional in MIT integration B, but we're going to include it anyway. Yeah, I think I got it. So that's the MIT integration B 2010. I know that was a big problem. And that was problem number 13. Come back and we'll do some more integrals later. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.